All right, hey guys, uh, back to do a quick recap for you, and I got a little comparison from our last hobby box. I think you'll find some things a little bit interesting. But, um, so for this hobby box, this uh, these are the ones that we're missing. Uh, I did go through, and I did have those two other um, rookies, so we must have just missed them. Um, all the circled ones are cards that we didn't get in our other hobby box. I mean, the base cards are almost exactly the same. I mean, maybe like one or two packs different. Uh, but these, I don't have either of those in either of the hobby box, boxes. Uh, so we're still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 cards away from a set of 350. Now, I do have some retail, and I have a couple teams that I bought in breaks. So maybe I have a few of those, but I doubt I have them all. Um, so we're not done with this yet. We'll probably buy a couple more boxes. Like I said, for sure, we're going to buy another, um, uh, blaster box, but crazy, right? Look at all the, the different, I mean, no duplicates in either of the boxes individually, but look how many cards we did not get in two boxes. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot, I think, considering you're only missing 37 cards in a box, um, from, from a complete set. So uh, this is just a little comparison. Um, there were 313 base cards in this one. The last one only had 312. We had two rainbow foils in this one, and that is um, a David Dahl and a uh, what's that guy named? Brian Abreu. So those were the two rainbow foils of this set. We had two golds in both of them. In these ones, in this box, we had a Steven Matz and a Hansel Robles. Uh, those are the numbers on those. Let me get centered. There you go. Uh, we had three decades best inserts compared to five in the last box. Um, so these were the three uh, Ted Williams, Monty Irving, and Jacob DeGrom. So we had three versus five of those. Uh, we had 685s in both. 685s in both of them. Uh, the 85s in this round. Where did I put those? Oh, over here. George Brett. Miguel Cabrera, Don Mattingly, Eloy Jimenez, Xander Bogarts, and a Mike Trout. So not too bad there. Um, one decade of dominance in, of each thing, and the decade of dominance is here. For our set for this box, we had a Roger Clemens. Um, one tops now insert advertisement type thing. There's that, Mike Trout in this one. Uh, one home run challenge in the box. I think that's pretty standard. There's that one. This one was George Springer. Uh, one short print. This round we got uh, Gary Sanchez. That's just a regular short print. Um, we had a black in this one. And so with the difference of the decades, the best, and the rainbow foil, one extra, that's three cards. We're, you know, one more short of that. And we had one blue 85 parallel the last time, but we had a black in this round. Not a great player, but still, black is cool. And that's number 269, 37 out of 69. A black of Trent Thornton out of the Blue Jays. Okay, and then this round, we had also a Topps Choice card, which we really like. And that's from 91 tops. And of Christian Yelich. So a 91 tops choice. And then a decades next, which we also like that insert, of Julio Urias. Urias, Urias. And we did not get that in the, in the round one. And then we had our our um, our relic this round was a David Dahl. Last time we had Brian Buxton. Same same thing. Major League Material. Same thing. So same there, same type of relic there. And then uh, let me just go over. We did get all those five uh, rookies. We got the McKay. Um, I don't know if he's as big, but if he hits and pitches, he could be uh, pretty cool to collect. A Bo Bichette, a Jordan Alvarez, an Aquino, Aquino, and a Gavin Lux. So we missed these two. I had to find them later as I was sorting. There's our uh, base cards, you know, 100 to 200, and then 200 to 300. And then we did get four silver packs, Ichiro, Frank Thomas, Dylan Cease, and a Cal Ripken. No numbered ones versus the last time we had the, the numbered Otani, the black. So um, just pretty interesting. Um, I like to dive a little deeper into these breakdowns. You know, that's probably the nerd in me. 
but pretty much the same. I mean, same amount of 85s. Decade best, two different. It's a little more than, you know, rainbow foil. You got one there. Golds are the same. I mean, where we differed is that this one had an extra base card, but you also got the black and a couple different types of inserts. Whereas this one, you had a couple of the same types of inserts, a little bit of a blue parallel on the A5, which are a little bit rare, more rare, and then, you know, just a little bit different. I think this box was by far better. I mean, it had um, the, the numbered Otani silver pack and the Jordan Alvarez um, gold foil, or not gold foil, rainbow foil. So, I mean, just based on value, that one is better. But I do like a little bit of the different um, types of um, parallel, or not parallels, but different types of inserts. You just get to see a little bit more of the of the whole complete set. Uh, so we did get the four big rookies, which is good in both sets. I mean, imagine if all four of the rookies were doing these cards. <laughs> that would be terrible. Uh, but no, thanks for watching, guys. This breakdown was a little bit longer, but we also got through the uh, initial part sooner. So... <laughs> Um, sorry <laughs> if it was a little bit longer, but I just like to dive into that. I think that stuff's kind of interesting. All right, guys. Well, I will uh, talk to you later. We're going to get some more retail, but probably won't be for a couple days. And uh, I'll look through my other stuff, see if I can get my set completed. If not, I don't know. I'll have to pick up 10 cards somewhere, somewhere along the way. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.